Hey, talking with Max Plaxton down at the Nova, no, Nova Norba, which is the first real North American race of the year. So Max, uh, first of all, congratulations on your Pan Am win. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good race. Uh, we, got, you know, we got the job done down there with Jeff, James, and myself, so it's a good way to start the season off as well. Now, I mean, was there some pressure that you guys were feeling? Because obviously it's an important race for points for Olympics. Uh, I mean, you said, you said you got the job done, so obviously there'd been a lot of talk about that. Yeah, well, we, got, we couldn't have done any better with Jeff winning elite and Seamus second and me winning under 23, so, you know, the Continental Championships, there's good points off the ride, so, yeah. I don't know, I mean, if we, hopefully, you know, we can, we can continue that throughout the year, yeah. get good points. Yeah, yeah. Now, what about um, the race itself? Um, you talked a little bit about, you know, was uh, were you racing with the elites or was it a totally separate race? And uh, no, the under 23s we started five minutes behind, so, can you tell, can you figure out so it was a totally like separate start. Mm -hmm. um, so. Okay, and did you just go to the front and that was it, or was there a battle? Or yeah, well, kind of after last year in Brazil, um, I was kind of going how that one, you know, there's a couple of Colombian kids that went off super, super hard. So this year I was kind of thinking it's going to, same, same is going to happen. And that did, two guys went off yeah. super hard and I just sat on their wheel for the first half lap and then yeah. just kind of tacked on the main climb and did look back. It's pretty, pretty easy to win. Yeah. Now, how about um, looking forward? I mean, obviously that had to give you some confidence that your form was on, but I mean, how, how do you feel in terms of, uh, in terms of your condition this year say compared to last year uh, well the funny thing is I was kind of I was kind of sidelined for most of January I had a, a knee issue that's almost why I didn't go to Argentina because I I was pretty much like on and off the bike for a good three weeks just not being able to really train decently so I mean I think my form at Pan Am is like maybe 80 percent so I think I just went in you know pretty like mentally mentally positive I knew that I, I, I did a good test in late February and actually my numbers were really good. Um, but I was kind of lacking a bit of intensity, but you know, we did things well, I, just, I did things well preparing for the race. So, yeah. Now, how about looking forward, say for the first, first part of the season, you've obviously, there's this weekend, um, then there's Sea Otter, and then there's Hoofleys, the first World Cup. I mean, what's what's your program? What's your uh, what's your goals? At, let's say taking you up to um, let's say uh, after the first three World Cups, say by early June. Uh, well, after this, we got Sea Otter in a, two, in a few weeks, and then I'll, I'm going to put in a pretty good block after this race, kind of trend through Sea Otter, and then uh, for Hoofleys, I, I hope to be. I don't. I'm not going to be. In, in peak form, I just want to have a good solid race, um, and just for you know for the next ones to have a good start position. And then after Hoofleys, there's a few more Norbas, but uh, I'll have a little break after Hoofleys, and then I'd really like to have a solid few races in Europe. In Europe uh, there's two World Cups, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, pretty much from there, just all the way to St. Anne, I just want to have really good form, and you know. Hope to have a really good few World Cups at Saint Anne and uh, Saint Felicien. Now, in terms of overall goals for this year, what would you say were like the two or three main priorities for for you? Uh, well, number one would be uh, win World Championships in under 23, and then uh, second, I think I'd like to be just consistent at the World Cups. You know, I don't have like a goal, um, but just just have the best races I can, you know, steadily moving up all through the race. And then uh, third, you know, I think to win nationals would be good. Mm -hmm. You know, to have a good season by winning Pan Ams, nationals, and worlds, I'd be, I'd be solid. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, thanks very much. Uh, and I, just last question. Um, You've ridden this course a little bit now. What do you think about the the race for Sunday? That 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 course, especially four laps of it. Yeah, well, I haven't been on the course yet. Okay. So, uh, but from what I've heard, I raced here three years ago, and I had, uh, I, I had put my first pro win here. So uh, the train suits me well, and I'll check the course out tomorrow, and uh, maybe let you know how it is tomorrow. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thanks.